and uh, now the Romanian national anthem. Very special indeed, the uh, Romanians, a number of first timers getting the chance to stand there and belt out the national anthem. It's a, it's a nice moment, Kenna. Oh, it's a wonderful moment in your career to, to stand there representing your country, arm in arm with your, with your 22 brothers, you know, getting ready for the game. Just fantastic images, images there through Fox Sports, just to see the passion on the Scottish faces and the Romanian guys. There's almost tears. Grown men are so pumped and absolutely honoured to be representing their country. It's just special. I tell you what, when the Scottish sing their national anthem, uh, Flower of Scotland, when you're standing there playing a test match against them, you actually start singing with them. <laughs> it's, su it's such a powerful national anthem, Oh Flower of Scotland, and uh, a wonderful moment for all those 22 players lined up for Scotland. Key here for Romania to just get a really solid start, make a statement early and, and uh, hold their ground, I guess. It is, just to make sure you receive the kickoff really well, uh, you get your set piece right, get the platform, really work your way into the game. Particularly in the forwards, they will set the tone for how Scotland and Romania effectively will work their way in through this game. Just getting set now. Coach is getting settled in. They've been working a long time for this. They've set themselves straight off the back of 07. It's been part of the plan to, uh, to be here, to have a good start at the 2011 World Cup. And that's exactly what both sides will be trying to do. party atmosphere in Invercargill. Great opportunity for both sides. They just want to start now, but they can't be overawed by the occasion either, uh, especially Romania. Um, just getting through to this World Cup. They haven't missed one yet, so 2011, good opportunity for them to upset, a potential upset. Yeah, yeah, a long range one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're going to get on the board early. They'll, they'll be obviously targeting the one against Georgia. Uh, their next game, but uh, wouldn't they love to just cause a boil over here, their first outing. The first game of Pool B in New Zealand, set for a start here. Your uh, referee for this one is uh, Dave Pearson. Stop chatting our players. And uh, the commentators, I'll be familiar voices to you from your uh, Super Rugby viewing through Fox Sports. Scott Stevenson, Murray Mextead and Matthew Cooper. There's Dave Pearce. And let's take you to Invercargill now. Set for in Pool B. With the whistle, OK. Scotland. Many will kick short. off. Into the wind here at Rugby Park. We're underway. Match two of Rugby World Cup 2011. The first match of Pool B, and immediately taken down in a strong running two from Kelly Brown. And it's there for my player. And Barclay gets himself the first receiver, ball straight away out through Lamont. He gets past the first tackle with consummate ease. Wonderfully weighted pass out wide. Stayed in support too. And Scotland hot on attack straight away to open this match. Here's Blair again. And come open side, advantage applying. 
Strong running in midfield by the skipper. Clear again. Here's Jackson. Ansbro this time. Pass behind. Patterson up from fullback. And here's Richie Vernon now inside the 22. Romania shell shocked early in this one. Jackson once more. This time they have a midfield set up through Barclay. Left again. Jackson, wide ball, spot tackle made, good hand shown, and we'll come back for the first penalty. Romania offside. Well, he rushed up, but he was probably a yard offside, I think. Offside. Well, Tucked what a break by well. Vermont. Three times first already, break, guys. first movement of the game, and he's just sliced through the back line. And An ominous sign for the Romanians. <laughs> Here it is, he pushed off his marker, opened up now, watch for the pass, perfect timing, bit of a little bit of a late tackle even, and the ball was kept alive, and of course this is the key of today's game isn't it, to make the break, keep it alive, and then recycle, fast ball. Strong start for Scotland, exactly what they wanted today, right out in front then with the first chance of the game. No problems at all. And so Scotland, first time they pay a visit to Romania's 22. They come away with three points. Chris Patterson with the penalty. 789 career points now for Scotland. What a champion career this man has had. I just heard a member of the grandstand call out in a very Kiwi accent. Come on, Romania. This one sits up in the breeze here. Kellogg gets high. Backwards is the call from referee Pearson, so Blair will kick from the base. So now the confusion here, but now picked up, and it's Chuntu. He finds Dumitrash, and Dumitrash with a good run. It's there for Serbu. He takes on two big forwards and sets nicely. Right on the halfway line. Both Jon and Lazar there, and they're told to stay away. And they come second row instead through a suck here. Yeah. tackle, not backward in the tackle. Yeah, he lost the ball, didn't he? Not backward in the tackle was the call from Dave Pearson. Scotland may well have the turnover here and do. Blair this time to Jackson. Jackson to Richie Gray now standing in midfield. He takes the tackle of Marco Vey. Blair again. Left footer over the top. This one finds some open greenery. And Romania now under pressure inside their own 22 once more. Dumitrash with the kick. And makes good distance. And what a great clearance from a short angle. Play carries on, however. Patterson up from fullback once more. Easily past the first defender. And not similarly. Romania falling off plenty of tackles early in this match. Now Blair. And up off the ground, Barclay couldn't quite handle it. It was a terrible ball. And so the first scrum of the match will form after four minutes of play. And Scotland's certainly making all the play. They look comfortable. A couple of those kicks a little bit long, I think, gave Romania an opportunity to counter. Well, there's been a lot of talk about Scotland in terms of the, the way they play the game. They're not, one of, they're not a big kicking side. They do like running the ball. And already we're seeing that from Andy Robinson's men. Nice, nice continuity, good structure. Uh, and two big packs too, Scott. Well, that's a lot of weight Crunch. on display out there today. Yeah, I've often spoken Touch. about Scottish packs of being a little bit short on size, but not this one. Yeah, it's a good scrum to start us. Karapo off the back. He gets hit hard over the top by... Joe Ansbro, ball still live now as they take it short side. That is Petre, Christian Petre. And plays to the line for Lemnaru, out wide. Scotland's 10 metre line, you can see there. And Romania now trying to form some attack. Petre loses the ball in contact, however. And Scotland will have the scrum feed. Yes, they've got a little bit of shape to them, Romania. But both times... Both times I've lost lost the ball. Just getting a little isolated, aren't they, Murray? You're right, that was a bit more a good physical passage from the Romanians. But he's on his own, isn't he? There's one or two coming in, but not enough for the clean-out. But right there, too, it was exactly the same the run before that they turned the ball over. You've got to retain that sort of possession. 
Well, Alan Jacobson not. perhaps lucky not to be penalised Eight. there. He was on the Crouch. ground, ripped the ball Crouch. away. Touch. Pause. Engage. Stay down. Let's come off the ball. Scrum steady again. Romania able to get some weight on. Ball's cleared now to Jackson. And again, open space. Romanians just finding themselves a little short positionally. And he's over the dead ball, ball uh, over the goal line, should I say. So he'll force the 22 dropout. Clever play from the fullback. Clever play, except that it was 25 metres to the closest Scottish player. He had one man in support. Surely it was an opportunity to have a bit of a go. I mean, you've got to have a crack, don't you, to, 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 to win, to cause an upset. You've got to be in the game. You've got to have a go. So I wonder about the psyche Winger. there. It shows that they haven't really got the confidence, I guess. I just wonder, they'd love to get some territory, wouldn't they? So they can operate short around the fringes, strength of their game. This one bounces up for Patterson. And Patterson will take on the line. High shot on him. Lusakio was the man who thrust out a big arm. Ford's there to take the pass in midfield. And he'll set up just short of the halfway line. They stay short again, Scotland. Jackson's ball. Ricochets into the arms of Anspro. Now a chance wide for the Scots. Can they score the first try of the game? Blair's up easily around the defender. And the veteran Mike Blair is in for the opening try of the game. Well, they'd be delighted, Scotland, to score so early in the game. They certainly have dominated most areas in the first few moments and they've broken the line on several occasions they have support play no. Blair was looking around for support he could see 25 metres to run <coughs> but he had the gas to do it alone well it was a big sidestep wasn't it from Mike Blair here's the setup. this pass here from Jackson somehow found the arms of Ansbro and from there it was just cut back cut back and Blair running a great line and yeah, a little bit of confusion in the Romanian defence, wasn't it, guys? And that's the that's the end result. They set the man who's played 72 caps for the Scottish side over for his first try and the Scotland team's first try in Rugby World Cup. That is forgettable. Yes. <laughs> and embarrassing. <laughs> we'll put that in the highlights. Chris Patterson has scored 789 test points. And that is the worst kick of his career. It's fallen over. Well, look, she's looking around with his arms open wide. Help. I'm sorry, mate. There's no help. Dumitras then with the kickoff. And this one will drop on Brown. Brown gets it hard. With no support at all, really. It's a chance. An advantage being played. The penalty goes to Romania. Great pressure from the restart. On. Not yours. Kelly Brown got flattened in the tackle. Falling on. Highly unusual, really, when you're up. fielding a kickoff and it's that high in the air to have no support. And Romania did really well, went over the top and made it very difficult for Brown. Oh, Christian Petre, the big second rower, he put the hit on. And uh, well done. He has the opportunity now with that defensive hit to give the Romanians a chance into a strong breeze. Here's the kick again. Oh, See the ball just go. <laughs> he's got, he's kept his head down, but the ball's fallen on the team. And unfortunately for this very experienced player, he's got one of those moments. <coughs> Has that happened to you at all? Not Matthew? there, no. I was just thinking that in terms of the win, Murray, and I'm no, I, I don't lay claim, but uh, just that, that, that win there is stronger than you think, favouring the Scottish side. Marin Danut Umbrava in his third Rugby World Cup, 61st test for Romania today. And this to put three on the board for the Oaks. And it'll drift away. Well, once again, you saw a little bit of wind there, Matthew. Quite interesting. When he kicked it, we were positioned directly behind where he kicked that ball, and it looked like it was going through the centre. So 8-0 the scoreline. Coming up to 10 minutes gone in this match. Ruri Jackson has the ball in hand. Restart is deep. Waiting back is Karpo, who was spoken to by the referee after Mike Blair scored that try. There is shot on Blair on the ground. Oh, and that's great into play, but the